Hello everybody and welcome. Please gather around Paladin and Silver's Blue Crate Campfire. And today as you can see, we have got our Loot Crate. There you go, Loot Crate. For those of you guys who do not know, Loot Crate is a monthly subscription box that you get funnily enough once a month. It costs £14.82 uh, and that includes shipping to the UK all the way from America. Um, and like I said, it's a monthly box you get. It contains comic, gamer, geek type gear. It's like a little uh, present you get every month. And for the price that you pay, you actually get a decent bargain because normally the stuff in here is in excess of at least 30 pounds. So you're already doubling the amount of money. Um, and they're normally things that you wouldn't assume you wouldn't buy if you were out you know, walking through the shops. You look at it and think, ah, oh, that Tetris ice cube mold is something quite funky, but you wouldn't buy it. And you just get it in these little crates and you can use them. You can see here, I've got things like this Star Fox coffee mug from, um, I think that's from Loot Crate. Uh, and some other bits and pieces that I've got dotted around at the moment. Um, so yeah, Loot Crate, everyone. The month's theme is covert. So I'm thinking spies, James Bond, you know, those type of crime fightery guys. So a uh, bit of MI5, bit of CIA, you know, all that jazz. So it should look pretty cool. Uh, I'm expecting some sort of gadget as well, hopefully. But, uh, yes, so. March Loot Crate 2015 themed covert project open and we'll go for this and as you can see I have managed to find the unsafe knife. It even I've just noticed it even has a sticker that says caution knives are designed to be sharp just in case you didn't want to cut yourself. Okay let's bust into our Loot Crate so much better than trying to use a pen or a pair of clippers. Okay, here we go. Da 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 da. Oh wow. Okay, so Loot Crate have started doing this new thing where they give you a box that can be used for different purposes. And as you can see here, we've got a keyboard with a fingerprint access. So I've obviously access because it says confirmed below. So we're good. Uh, right. So we'll save. It looks like I've got a t-shirt this month, which is cool, so we saved that for later. Right, okay, so what have we got here? First, stealth wristwatch, blink time. Press face to display the time. So it's a little watch, it's a bit rubbery, you know, like a sports type watch. It's got a nice little metallic buckle on the back there. So it says, try me. Wow. Routine. That's cool. <laughs> so, I wonder if it turns off after a while. Yes, it does. So, it starts off blank. See that blank time? And then you click on the face, and that is cool. It loads up the time for you. And then you've got some other bits like the date and the seconds, I guess that is. And then after a while, if we wait a couple of seconds, bing, bing, it turns off. So. That's a really cool start for our loot crate. Really like that, a stealth watch. Really cool. Okay, what have we got here? We've got a classified field notes for loot crate. So you get a little, little book. It's got classified loot crate exclusive field notes. So we've got field notes here and field notes here. So you've got one with like a, um, like a squared page and one with line page so you can take notes while out in the field while you're spying stuff. That's pretty funky. It's always nice to get stationery. Everyone loves stationery. I could spend so much money on stationery. It's not even funny. So that's good. Field notes, stationery, loot crate, authorised personnel only. Let's turn my phone off. Right here. Oh, this is pretty cool. Like a loot crate band of some sort. Let's look at this. See what this actually looks like. Come on, out you come. Out you come. Yeah, so it's like a, a loot crate clip thing. And I guess it's like a bracelet. Yeah. So you just sort of clip it. And there you go. I'm a loot crate operative from 
L C R T E Lucrut. That's cool. A nice little funky band there. What's this here then? Next. Agents of Shield Loot Crate Exclusive. Okay, cool. What about this? EFX Collectibles. I don't know what that means. We shall see. There you come, my lord. Oh dear. Oh. Okay, something's dropped out the bottom. Okay, so. Uh, the principal shield, blah blah blah. Inventing replicator and official license from Marvel Entertainment. And make the shield use prop. Oh, so this, is, this is actually a prop that they use. Ah, right, it's one of their access cards for authorised personnel only. Ooh. For shield. So you'll see that on the TV programme. And it'll be like, um, you know, they use it to access beep, beep, all their areas. Uh, and there's you know, a little description in there about what it's all about. So that's really cool. A little bit of um, sort of shield memorabilia there. And if there ever was a shield headquarters, I could easily navigate my way around. Right. So, really spy stuff so far. What's this bit here? It looks like just some sort of lace. I wonder if this goes with something. Oh, here we go. Ah, okay. So this goes with my pass. It's just a little sort of crocodile clip. And then you do that. Whack that on there. And that bit pops out. And there you go. My shield pass is now secured around my neck. So now I will never lose it. Ever. Ever. And I can get everywhere now. So, excellent. What's this? Spy Mad Libs, World's Greatest Word Game. Okay, so it's like um, a word game type thing of how, you know, of spy language. So that's pretty cool. I'll read up on how we do that. And it's got a, so like, every, and then you put an adjective, spy needs a pair of x-ray, and then a plural noun. So they've put every stinky spy needs a pair of x-ray baseballs. So that's the example they give, really super silly way to fill in the blanks type thing. Mad Libs. That's pretty cool. I'm sure I'll have some use out of that. Some fun sentences will be made. Uh, right, a free digital download of a couple of code. Ninjak. So some sort of a comic book there. Free digital download of a comic book called Ninjak. That's pretty cool. I don't know how much that would be good for. What's this? For more paracord cord ups. So this is a para a paracord, this. Um, so you have your traveling through the uncharted wilderness of in the redacted region of redacted. To unwrap your paracord survivor brace, it lays out flat, locate the glued section of cord by the fastener, pull apart the cord at glued section, unwind the cord. As always, should you be captured, HQ will dis disavow any knowledge of reactions. So you can actually take it apart? And then use it as a piece of cord. Ah, right. oh, yeah, there's the glued section. All oh, right, yeah, so you can unravel it here, and then you've got two pieces of cord um, in case you need to bungee jump off a bridge or something, or use it as a whip to traverse a whip cliff thing. So more than one use. Excellent. I'll get some value out of that. So every time in um, a loot crate you get a magazine which tells you all the stuff that you get in there. I'm not going to read for it because it spoils the surprise, but it's always cool to have a read of them because it does tell you a little bit about the items you get in, which is a really cool little thing. As normal, we've got the loot crate March Covert badge. So I'll get a better picture of that for you. There you go. So it's basically got the front cover. Got a good collection of these badges now, so. We're getting our collection complete. And finally, oh, second to last, should I say, we've got a, an Orphan Black Loot Crate exclusive comic, I guess, of some sort, or, or something. It says issue number one. So let's open her up and have a quick look, shall we? There's the front cover. Um, orphan Black stuff there, and a bit on the back. Yeah, it's definitely a comic. They've started doing a lot of these Loot Crate, Loot Crate exclusive. Okay guys, sorry about that, the uh, video cut out, so uh, I'll carry on where we were. So Orphan Black comic, yes, definitely a comic. 
I don't know what Orphan Black is, to be honest. Uh, it's not something that I watch. Uh, but something that could be interesting. So maybe I'll read this and maybe start watching it. Don't know. So, but still, all in all, a cool little item about spy stuff, I think. Uh, right, so that, that was that. Uh, so the final piece is a t-shirt. Uh, now you don't always get a t-shirt and look great, um, but this week we have. And all of us, straight away, I can feel it's a really good quality t-shirt. Really nice thick cotton on it. Yeah, very nice. And let's see exactly what it is. It's a white one as well, which is decent because normally they give you black ones. So it's always good to get a different color every now and again. <laughs> okay, so it's a James Bond themed one. As you can see that. It says, this is stirred. Or this is stirred. And then he's sad, so he's not shaken. <laughs> so he's upset. <laughs> that's a really cool one. Really like that t-shirt, so that's a really cool one. So, that's everything for this week's Loot Crate. Uh, as we can see, we've got the cool James Bond This Is Stirred t-shirt, which is really cool, I like that. We got an Orphan Black comic. Like I said, I don't watch Orphan Black, but something that may be interesting. We've got the digital download for the uh, Ninjack um, comic. We've got the Loot Crate official field notes, two books, one with um, a grid in and one with lines. We've got the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, pass, and you can see here, it's all on the thing. Turn up, oh, let me just take that, so show. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. pass, official merchandise, and a Loot Crate exclusive, excuse me. We've got Mad Libs, uh, World's Greatest Word Game. So I'm sure me and my girlfriend will have loads of fun playing that. Oh God, sorry, I've got hiccups. I've got the Stealth wristwatch, which is really kind of funky item. There you go, it's all still counting away. Excellent. So that's cool. Um, and the badge. Oh, and also, don't forget, the cord bracelet. It's pretty cool. Uh, and the pin as well. And as you can see here, we've got an encryption game as well. I don't know what that is. Some sort of screen for the computers you can see there. Looks like a computer screen, like a little laptop so you can search on the intranet. Okay guys, so all in all, a really good crate. And uh, as usual, I'm very impressed with the quality and the amount of uh, items that are going in. So guys, please like, comment and subscribe. I do enjoy getting your comments. I do enjoy getting feedback from you guys to see if I'm doing things good or if there's things I can improve on. And um, yeah, everything, Loot Crate. Make sure you sign up or join me next month to see my next video. And check out all my other videos on my channel. I will appreciate it a lot. So uh, on that note, thank you very much for watching and bye for now. Guys, if you like Paladin Silver's campfires, please like, comment and subscribe or join us on Facebook, Paladin Silver.